I can appreciate this comment that I received. I made a video a while back called DNA Test Results. How much Jewish DNA do Jewish Americans show? And our friend JS left this comment, quote, find a Jewish janitor, good luck, end quote. And I think that's very interesting and reinforces my own belief systems. Even before it was confirmed through my mother's DNA test that there definitely is Jewish heritage and DNA in our family, which I had always speculated. But my, my mother's DNA test shows 15.2% Sephardic Jewish. And I don't think it's a coincidence that I have remained kosher for over 10 and a half years. And, if, and only, I only became that way because I realized that when I was eating certain types of fish that weren't kosher, that it was causing my diastrotic eczema to become that much worse. I think it was my destiny to be kosher. And I think even if it's a small amount of Spanish, de uh, Spanish, it's actually Sephardic Jewish, so that's why I said Spanish just then. But even if I have a small amount of Jewish DNA through my mother, so be it. I don't think that's a coincidence. With that being said, though, I've always been fascinated by Jewish people. I've always had such a respect for Jewish people. My last, I was an English major, and in my last paper in college, I chose to do about why it was throughout history that Jewish people were discriminated against, because I actually was fascinated by Jewish people, and I think they had such a strong culture and so much to offer, and especially to the identity of America and all the things behind the scenes that they've done to establish this country, I think is amazing. So to imagine a Jewish janitor, yeah, that is ironic. It is ironic, the thought of a Jewish janitor, because here in America, when we look at Jewish Americans here throughout history, well, we look at the in entertainment industry, we look at old Hollywood films, we look at the studios. Good luck finding a, a studio where there weren't Jewish people behind it. Look, try to find any movie or or TV show where there's not a Jewish person behind it or in it. Even when we look at music, there may not be as many Jewish musicians, but you look at the producer, you look at who's writing the songs, you look at banks, you look at doctors, you look at lawyers, you see Jewish people quite prominent, even though if we look at Jewish people as a minority in America, then we'd be looking at something around 2.5%. But they're, they're always attached to kind of being behind the scenes and making a lot of money doing that very ambitious and very successful if we were to look at the general rule so therefore yes it's ironic to consider a jewish janitor it just doesn't add up and it's not i'm not making it seem like oh it's magical dna if you're jewish then you're going to make a lot of money i'm not meaning that at all what i'm meaning is and i've said this many times in my videos is that through and this goes back to the paper i wrote in college throughout history Jewish people have basically been kicked out, discriminated, and they've been on the go. They haven't had the same rights as a lot of people wherever in the land they were living in. They had to be creative in finding ways to make money, and they never knew when they'd be kicked out and have to go somewhere else. And then they got to America, and things were a little bit different, because overall, this country is a country that was founded on people escaping here to find a better life. So when Jewish people got here, I'm not saying they weren't discriminated against, but ultimately, when we look at the identity of the United States, and we look at World War II, and that's a war that we're proud of. We're proud of that war compared to a lot of wars that have happened since. We're proud of that war. That's a war that really helped establish and define our identity, especially from a military perspective. And we will look back on World War II, and we see what happened to the Jewish people in the Holocaust. And then we realize, wait, this country is full of Jewish people, successful Jewish people. Wow, and we had a part in helping win that war and helping end that and wow, okay. We like these Jewish people. Look what they're doing for our country. These are very interesting people and they're very similar to us. They don't, if, if we consider overall America to be a, a Christian nation, even despite all this going on and laws and politics and all that, if we still consider it to be a, a Christian overall nation compared to others, we look that two-thirds of our Bible is the same as what Jewish people believe. Two-thirds of the Bible stories we have, we share with Jewish people. We have a lot in common with them, and we have a lot of respect for Jewish people because of those cultures 
because of their culture, because of their values, of that concept of being creative and hardworking. That speaks to the American identity, especially modern day. We want to not simply just work hard, but we want to work smart. We want to create. And therefore, we are working hard. That's part of our identity as Americans. And, and as, I've looked, as I've looked through the comments from people that, because a lot of my viewers are not American, they're from overseas. So something I've learned from people outside of America is that when we think of, well, what are Americans good at? Well, one of the things we're good at is, is connecting people through social media. We've created a lot of things here in America to do that, Facebook, YouTube, etc. But we are looking at uh, these things that ultimately have united people through entertainment. So if entertainment is a major American export, even now, as you're watching, it backs up this theory that we have many reasons to respect and value Jewish Americans and Jewish people in general. All that being said, it's complete irony to think of a Jewish janitor. He would be the exception to the rule. And that's not me looking down on janitors. We need janitors. And if you've watched my other videos, you know that I actually am against the wall being put up to try to keep out illegal immigrants. Because I say, if we, even if miraculously that was somehow successful, a wall keeping them out, I do not believe it will. But even then, who would be doing these jobs that Americans don't want anyway? It's easier to, to put yourself on wel welfare and say you have a disability than it is to work at a slaughterhouse or pick fruits and vegetables and do this. And we've got people who would do it cheaper. And yes, that causes a different, it, cause, it, it affects the rates and what people are willing to go to work for. And I believe our welfare system is ultimately a large part of the, this broken system that we have. But with all that being said, a Jewish janitor, this is a position we think is, is very lowly, right? It, collectively speaking, we think of this, okay, we'll let an undocumented illegal immigrant do that job. So it's definitely in stark contrast to what we think of as Jewish occupations. Because Jewish people, again, have had to be very creative in making money. And therefore, because of that, as a means of survival, they taught those same trades and thoughts and ideas to their own children. And therefore, it seems very unlikely that there are going to be Jewish janitors. Do they exist? Have they existed? Absolutely. And I think of especially the first Jewish people that arrived here, they started from the bottom up. But if I were to think of a Jewish janitor, I would still think of someone who started as a janitor, worked their way up quickly and creatively, and ended up owning the joint before too long. That's what I would think of. That is the idea. When there are certain ethnic backgrounds and certain nationalities that are just better at certain things. And I think to deny this is actually disrespectful. There are certain, you, you can look at a, a lot of times you can even look at a last name and determine what that person is good at. And is it generalizing? Absolutely it is. But to deny that would be foolish. So you don't see a lot of Jewish janitors. But I think if you did, give them a couple of years and you'd see them climb the ladder. What are your thoughts on this? This is a channel where I enjoy talking openly and without fear of being socially, how should I say, politically incorrect. I think it's important that we have real conversations about this stuff, that we can acknowledge these things exist. It's not okay to say on Twitter some of these things I say, but I think it's important that we really understand them. And this idea that Jewish people are financially successful. Well, there's a lot of truth behind it. And why? And understanding why that is. And it's not this magical DNA. It's that that trait and that thought was passed on. I mean, think about this. My own son. He is going to be brainwashed by me. He has parents who make good money at what they do full time. But then he's got a dad who has five side hustles, this being one of them. I made over $4,000 from YouTube alone, and that's only one of my side hustles. Do you not think that my son is going to be successful in what he does for a career and then also have his own side hustles to always be making money even when he's sleeping? And I think that's the same thing that Jewish families have done. 
that Jewish fathers have passed it on to their children in the same way that I will to my son. What are your thoughts on this? You think this is just a video about Jewish janitors? What's so interesting about that? There's so much more, isn't there? Let's continue this conversation right here.